Hello and welcome to my Blender MD3 exporting quick start video tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about exporting a model from Blender in MD3 to Jedi Academy. And for now I'm going to assume you already have model set up and just want to uh, do the necessary things to export it. I'm going to create a better or more elaborate tutorial later about creating the whole model, setting Blender up, uh, setting the exporter up, but for now I'll just focus on the uh, important things. Um, and these are, first of all, your model needs to be triangled, so you have to triangulate it. You can press space to bring up the menu, you probably know that, and use uh, quads to tris. So yeah, quads to triangles, and all the quads become triangles, which is necessary for the exporter because the MD3 format only supports triangles. You have to do this for every um, mesh you have that you want to export. So you convert all those to tris, and then you select. No, not yet. Then you have to set up the textures. For example, um, for the uh, the top I want um, one texture and for the side another texture so I have to keep them as two separate objects then you go to the object settings and add a custom property which is called MD3 shader it has the property of the texture you want to use in my case textures the June Um, o trim 2 for the side and for the top I want again MB3 shader and textures the June trash compactor 6 you can use whatever you want here just keep in mind you have to set it for every object you have if you want to export tags like me in this case you have to add them too they are empty so add object and you have um, yeah, it's at the cursor which I don't know where it is here then you have a tag but I already have mine so yeah I just select everything that is supposed to be exported and can either go to file export MD3 or enter MD3 in the spacebar menu and there it is so then you select the right folder in my case I'll create a new folder in base models weapons 2 I'll call it um, my saber and the file is going to be called um, my saber.md3 Now um, in the bottom left here you have the settings. So uh, the MD3 name is the name without the path in front, without base and everything before that. So in my case it's models, weapons 2, my saber, my saber.md3. This is not important if you want to convert it to GLM later, but if you want the MD3 file you better set this. Most of these options are not very important, but scale can be. In my case, I build it pretty small. I want a scale of 10, and that's everything you need to set here. So now you can press Export MV3, and that should be everything. I'm going to start MV3 view now to uh, have a look at the model, if everything worked fine. So I just go to Open select my model, my saber, and here it is with the proper shaders. I'll go to view um, view origin, model axis and tags. This shows me the uh, origin in the middle and all the tags with their names. And uh, now I want to export it 
to a GLM model because that's what sabers have to be in. So I can go to file, export as GLM GUI 2 without 90 degree skewing because we don't want any rotation in there. Now it'll ask us if we really want to do this. Yes. And that's it. If you get um, a notice about multiple frames not being supported, it's, be it's because you exported more than one frame. You exported an animation in Blender. You have to set start and end to one if you don't want any animation. And you can't create animated Google 2 models this way, so you have to set it to one. So now it's been exported. You have um, to be careful though. In the default ME3 view version, in the, uh, you might have there's a bug where there's a little offset for tags, so it would be a little higher in this case. Um, I recently fixed that bug, and you can see that I have a custom version of ME3 view, MRW, that's Mr. Bonko. Also in the about, there's a skewing free GLM export fix by Mr. Bonko. So you can download that, a link is in the description. That works a little better than the official version. Now I'm going to open mod view and take a look at it. So again, I take my saber and there is a GLM file that's been created. You can just open it. Here it is. You can click the tag entry here and then all tags will be highlighted the blade and the parent tag and now you just have to set up the necessary files and you're ready to go